I'm John Connor. Welcome to the Inside Nashville Show Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been in the music recording business for over 30 years here. I'm also a jazz musician and I have the honor of playing with a gospel choir on a very regular basis here in Nashville. This year I have the honor of traveling to Japan to perform with some of your gospel choirs there. I've heard that American gospel music has become very popular in Japan, so I'm happy to tell you a little about where American gospel music came from and what the word gospel means. I understand why this music has a great appeal, elements of great joy, exuberance, and celebration. While I've read that Japan has a very homogeneous population, being nearly 98% Japanese, the U.S. has been called a melting pot of cultures with people from many different countries of origin. There are several original styles of music that have resulted from this melting pot of people groups, two of which are jazz and gospel. Both jazz and gospel music grew from a blend of two cultures. How many Nashvillians does it take to play the guitar? Apparently all of them. My name is John Connor. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee and to the Inside Nashville Show Studios. This Inside Nashville Show website offers streaming high-definition video all about Nashville, Tennessee. Not the television show Nashville, but the real thing. I've worked in the recording business here for over 32 years and I'm glad to introduce you to a few of the people and things that I have found interesting along the way. If you love the real history of American music, or Nashville in particular, you'll really enjoy this site. Here are the behind the scenes personal stories of the 18 musicians who started the music business in this town and the people who touched the lives of Elvis, Betsy Klein, Johnny Cash, Dolly, and many others. Also take a video tour inside today's music row and see how contemporary music is still being made. If you're planning to visit Nashville, the content on this site will make your visit much more memorable. We also present over 50 amazing things to do here that are either free or very inexpensive. Learn of the most famous recording made by a Nashvillian that lasts less than one second, and yet you've heard it many times. Meet Manuel, the fashion designer, who made Johnny Cash the man in black and who's had an amazing imprint on American fashion. Everything from the jeans that James Dean wore in the movie Giant, to the white polyester suit John Travolta wore in Saturday Night Fever. Learn of the single meal from a Nashville restaurant that was not eaten, but instead a shrine was built around it. Do you know of Vernon Winfrey, the East Nashville barber whose daughter has become an American media legend? Enjoy meeting Mr. Winfrey as he works. Let's have an extended conversation with Alan LaQuire, the Nashville sculptor whose hands have substantially touched this city. His work includes the Athena inside the Parthenon, the largest indoor statue in the Western world, as well as Musica on Music Row. Some of the personal stories and oral histories on this site would have been lost forever if not captured for this project. I've also had the honor of discovering and restoring formerly unknown historic recordings from Nashville's history. Here are demo recordings that Dolly Parton sang as an 18-year-old newcomer to Nashville. Here the story of the man who donated a copy of the Declaration of Independence that was hanging in his garage to the Music City Thrift Store here in Nashville. Stories from my own recording career, including Glenn Campbell, Trisha Yearwood, and others, as well as content from international tours I've played with musicians from many different cultures. Have you heard of the Nashville number system of chord notation? Well, I've used that in my 32 years in business, and on this website I explain very clearly how that works. This is a real functional music theory lesson that I think many musicians can find valuable. We also meet the men who first introduced the Nashville number system to the local studios. I've also created a video history of music technology that I hope you enjoy, including content from London and North Leach, England, and the Mechanical Music Museum that is there. If you click the button below and check in, you'll have immediate free streaming access 